Hey everyone, it's Stephanie Chow, owner of Pet Poo's Kadoo, Pet Waste Removal in Asheville, North Carolina, where we scoop up the poo and compost it too. Now today I'm going to show you how we get high pressure water on the land. We need it to clean our tools, to spray down the compost, and also to spray down our yard with water. And uh, the land that we purchased does not have any plumbing or power whatsoever. It was just land. So I'm going to show you what my husband actually set up using a solar panel to get us some energy and uh, power a uh, water pump. So come on in. So this is the controller. There's a solar panel outside. It hooks up to this controller here. There's a hole in the wall where the wires come through. And it tells us how much power is coming in from the solar panel. You come up here. That's our fuse. That's just in case anything goes wrong. It'll, it'll just stop this whole thing. And then we come up here. Here's the battery that it's charging. So it charges up to an hour of power for um, the water pump. Here's the toggle switch. You can see it's in the on position right now. And let's go outside. So we have a gutter system on this shed. You can see it starts here and it kind of wraps around. Comes over here. And the water comes into this tote. This is actually the same type of tote that we use for our composters. And then we have a hole in the side of the tote here where the excess water can come out and it drains into this drainage ditch. We have a screen on here to keep the bugs out and we painted this black um, because we actually, uh, when water is exposed to sunlight too much, it can actually grow algae inside. So the black paint is going to help uh, shade it from that sunlight and, and prevent that. This is that solar panel I was talking about. It's actually not that big and it just sits right there. We have it zip tied down. If you come down here, this is our valve for the tote. Uh, we open it up when we want water coming out and it comes through this hose. And you can see the hose wraps around and goes into this water pump here. This is a sea flow. It's usually used on RVs. You can see the wires coming out of our shed from the controller comes down here, hooks up to the pump, and then we have another hose on the other side. And uh, we'll go and follow that. And now I'll show it off. You can really feel that pressure. It feels just like a hose at home. Here is Jet. So it's pretty awesome. And we didn't have to generate that much. Uh, we, you know, you can see the solar panel was really small. We don't have to generate that much to do this. And it really, really helps out because I used to have to lug buckets of water to land all the time. And uh, it's a real pain. So there you have it.